Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your hamster some pasta. It was really fun to make and my hamster G loved it, so I thought I'd just post a quick tutorial on how to do it. So what you'll need is a pot and some pasta. I'm just going to be using the long spaghetti type, but you can use any type you like. You won't need much because your hamster doesn't want to eat that much and they could get a bit fat if they eat too much. So what you want to do is just break it in half so that they're not as long and it's easier for your hamster to eat. And just put them in the pot when you've broken them all up. You're going to want them to be about this long. This is the size I find that G find easy to manage. So yeah. Take the pot into the kitchen and just pour some boiling water over it and put it on the stove. Leave it for about 5-10 to 10 minutes, just keep stirring it around until it goes soft. If you don't want to put it on the stove with boiling water, you could either microwave it with some warm water in it or you could just leave it to sit in some relatively hot water until it goes soft as well. So now it's time for toppings. You can just leave your pasta plain if you want, but I decided to add some toppings for G. So I'm using some cheese. You can either crumble it up or grate it. It's just to make it smaller so that it'll melt easy on the pasta. And I'm using some seeds from a seed mix I just got at a grocery store, but you could get it at a health shop. And I'm using some Harry Hamster mix. Now the pasta is ready. You can see it's quite soft and almost translucent. When it gets to that point you can just pour out all the water and strain it with a sieve and pour it over some cool water just to cool it down a bit. I've added my cheese now and I did that while the pasta was still relatively warm so the cheese would melt but if you want to add your toppings when it's cooler that's fine. So just mix up the cheese or whatever your toppings are so that it's distributed evenly. I've added all the seeds and food now and it's ready. So once it's ready you can just scoop out a small portion into a bowl and give it to your hamster. This can keep for a couple days but you don't want to keep it much longer than that or it could get a bit damp.
watching please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i hope that your hamsters if you make this enjoyed it as much as g did as you can see he went absolutely crazy for it so thank you bye